Hi there, this is Sean Bodley with Clear Technologies. I'm a senior IT consultant based out of Dallas, Texas. I have over 25 years of AIX experience and a little over 20 years of that has been specializing in HA and DR, uh, primarily revolving around the PowerHA product. I'm also a three-time recognized IBM Power Champion, and I'm going to show how to perform an upgrade from PowerHA 721 to 722 using the new CLEZ update feature. First, just wanted to note that CLEZ update was actually a tool that was added in SP1 of PowerHA 721. So if you just have the base level, you will not have the CLEZ update tool. For my demonstration, I'm actually using 721 SP2 upgrading to the GA level or the base level of PowerHA 722. Now, I do have another demo showing how to perform an update using an SP, and that gives more detailed history of the CLEZ update tool, what it is, what it does, how it works. I'm not going to recap that for this demo. I'm just going to show a demo of performing an upgrade instead of an update. And again, real quick, here are some resources. You're probably watching this on my YouTube channel already. Follow me on Twitter, PowerHA Guy, and uh, for PowerHA related information, check out the wiki. So let me switch over to my demo environment and we'll get started. Okay, so this is my cluster. CLEZ update cluster, Jessica and Jordan. Jessica is the primary node, Jordan is the backup node. This is the QHA output. And since I actually have the SMUI installed, I thought I would show the status through the SMUI while this update is being performed. So the first thing I'm going to do is run the CLEZ update with the minus Q to query my NIM server to see what resources are available to these two nodes. I only have about a half dozen resources. Um, so there's not a lot, and I'm just going to make sure that when I run the command to perform the upgrade that I choose the proper resource. So in this case, it is PHA722 image is the name. Now, I'm going to perform a preview install as a, as a good best practice overall to try to help ensure the likelihood of success of performing this install. And what you'll see here is that it checks the AIX levels to make sure that the version of HA I'm trying to upgrade to is supported on this AIX level. In my case, the AIX level is 715 SP1. So that does meet the requirements. It checks to make sure that the uh, versions um, are the same, the file set levels are the same, and that the NIM server can actually perform NFS mounts and whether or not there's any updates um, that need to be committed prior to performing the upgrade. Now, of course, since this is an upgrade, even though I'm going to use the command to, quote, apply, you can't apply a major version. It has to be committed. So it will actually commit when I, I run this. So my preview came back OK. So now I'm going to tell it to go ahead and install it for real. It's getting the cluster state. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to uh, stop the cluster services on node Jordan down here. We're going to see both the GUI and the QHA tool um, show that status. It's going to go into ST init. And then there'll be a, a period of time when the file sets are being upgraded. QHA is going to lose its mind for a minute because the ODM entries are going to be modified. And then the cluster manager ES um, daemon is going to be cycled. So we'll see the ST init go away and then we'll see it come back. So we see that we're in the init state. So now Jordan is offline. And so now the GUI only took a couple of seconds to, to update the GUI to figure out that it's now showing that this node is not active in the cluster. So now it's applying the updates on Node Jordan. This is only going to take about two or so minutes 
Uh, so I'm going to pause the video for just a second while that's running. Now, while this is running, I do want to take the time to share an experience that I had while testing this update, uh, specifically with the uh, SMUI, the user interface, is I had an error encountered of trying to upgrade the SMUI file set to 722, and it appears that there is a, a mismatch at some point in the init tab for the um, PHA UI agent. So that has been reported and is being looked into. And actually how I've gotten around that problem is before I performed this update, I actually manually removed the init tab entry for the SMUI and then performed this update. And then when the upgrade is complete, it adds the entry back into init tab for me anyway. Um, so just wanted to share an experience. There may be an issue there uh, that needs to be resolved, but that's how I got around it. So you can see down here my cluster manager status has disappeared. It's probably updating the server RTE and it's being cycled and it's going to come back and show ST init here. So here's, here's where it's losing its mind while the other ODMs are being updated. So now it's come back to ST init, and it should almost be done here. Okay. So the updates have completed. It's restarting the services on Node Jordan here. You can see in manual mode, and Jordan is rejoining the cluster. And there's really not much for it to do, so it'll join pretty quickly. And you can see the UI is already updating that it's coming online. So now the upgrade has been completed on Jordan, and now it's going to repeat this process on Node Jessica. Now the difference on Node Jessica, since it owns the resource group, it's actually going to stop it and put it in the unmanaged state. So the resources are left alone. You see my volume group and my IP address are still left in place. It still shows me everything is green, but you can see now this little maintenance status because we're in the unmanaged state. And now the upgrade is running on Node Jessica. So this will take about three minutes or so. Uh, I'm just going to pause this um, for time expediency. Now, while this is running, I'll just give some more tips and advice, which is, of course, anytime you perform an upgrade, or test this procedure. You should always do this in a test environment first. Um, you should also make a cluster snapshot of your configuration and save that off of the box somewhere. So if for any reason things went wrong. Uh, also, another nice thing to do is to create a clone of the OS using an alt disk copy. Uh, so you could also easily flip back to the previous version if needed. And um, just one other tidbit about this tool is in the upgraded level that we're upgrading to, the CLEZ Update tool also provides options now to create the clone for you to roll back if an error is encountered. So it's kind of neat that that's been integrated. Um, since there's not another SP available let yet for 722, um, there's not an easy way for me to actually show that procedure, but when that comes out, I will probably create a, another demo utilizing those options. Okay, so the update is completed. It's restarting cluster services on Jessica in auto mode. Of course, it just does a verify, but since we're doing a cluster upgrade, typically uh, verifications are skipped. And we see it's coming back together, it tells me my cluster is stable, my GUI is updating, telling me that the resource group is online and everything is normal and happy again. So if I look at my HA level here, we'll see that we are now at 722 on both systems. Now, of course, my second system down here didn't update because I've had QHA running the whole time. But if I run it again, we'll see that we're sitting at 7220. And again, that's performing an upgrade 
non-disruptively. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message, and I will try to help. And as always, thanks for watching.